So this video is going to be about finding the dates on your photos because what we use to sort our photos is the dates. So it's really important to make sure you know what you're looking at and how you can find it on your photos, both on a PC and on a Mac. So let's go. Hey, so I'm Allison Lee, and I run an academy called The Memory Curator, and I teach people how to sort out their photo mess, get rid of their photo stress, and get back to using and enjoying their photos so they can tell their family's story. So today we're going to talk about how you can find the date on your photos, because the date is what we use in my classes to sort out your photo collection. So you can bring together all your photos from across all your devices, you can get rid of duplicates, and you can sort everything into a nice organized collection that makes it easier for you to find photos and to use your photos to make things like photo books and slideshows and videos and to create a family visual history for your family. But before you can do that, you have to sort out the mess so you can get rid of your stress and get back to using your photos for things that you enjoy. So let's talk about where the date comes from on our digital photos. The date comes from the camera that you take the photo with. So any of your cameras that you have has a timestamp in it that will write the time that the photo was taken onto the digital file that is your photo. Now, if you have an old camera where you actually had to like manually set the date, or even if you have a new camera where you have to set the date, that is of course dependent on the fact that you set the date correctly. So a lot of my students will come to me and they'll say, oh, I didn't set the date on my camera, my DSLR, my mirrorless, and all my photos have the wrong date taken. So that does happen. And that means that we have to change the date at some point later in the process. But if you did set the date correctly, then anytime you take a photo, your camera will actually write into the image file, the digital file, the JPEG, or the raw photo if you take raw, photos, they will actually write the date that you took the photo down to the second. And that is how we do a lot of things like compare photos to see if they're duplicates or use photo organizing software to sort things chronologically. And it just makes this whole process so much easier. That information is part of what we call metadata, which is the data that gets written into your photos when you take a photo. Now, if you have a phone, the date is going to be correct more of the time because your phone uses um, you know, the internet to set the date. It's hardly ever wrong. You don't have to set the date yourself. Um, it changes when you go to a different time zone. It changes with daylight savings, You know, all of that. So it's more likely to be correct. And every time you snap a photo with your phone, your phone puts the date onto that image file, the JPEG, um, and it gets written into the photo file and we can find that date as well on our computers and use that date to sort out our collections. So there are some problems with dates we will go into in another video and of course you can actually change dates which I'll also go into in another video. Right now I'm just going to show you where you would actually find these dates so you can start to make sense of your photo mess. So let's go to my computer. Right, so here are some common terms for what we're looking for when we see dates on our photos. Date created, date modified, date taken, capture date, creation date. It can get super confusing in terms of what dates you want to use when you're actually sorting out your photo mess. I typically say that we should be using this date taken, okay? Because date created and date modified and creation date can often mean the date that the photo was um, brought onto your computer. So those sometimes apply to the, the journey of the image file on your computer. Uh, date modify can also apply if you edited the photo. So the one we're really looking for is date taken. Sometimes that can be also known as capture date. Make sure that you are um, looking at those two different dates when you are looking at your photos. Those are the terms that we're looking for. Now, metadata is imperfect, so keep that in mind that, you know, it's not always going to be the actually right date that the photo was taken because our digital files have so many journeys with what we do with them now. We upload them to the cloud, we upload them to Facebook, we download them again, we email them, we send them to people, we put them on our computers and we move them to an external hard drive, and a lot of times the dates can get messed up. But 95% of the time, I teach people how to use software to sort out their photo mess um, really quickly. And we can usually find the date taken on about 95% of our photos. So it's a really important field. So this is how you actually find the dates on your photos. So I'm gonna show you in two different platforms. We're gonna to go to the Mac first. If you are looking at your photos in Finder, this is often what you will find. If you're in your recents folder, 
and you go and you look for a photo, you will find it here and you'll find, usually on a Mac, you will find date created. Now, Apple does not like you to actually see the date taken, which can be really frustrating. And then you'll see the date last open. So don't go by that either. If you highlight the whole thing, then over here, you'll see some more information. So you'll see date created, date modified, last open. And you'll see here that this date created and this date created are different, right? This one is um, the 19th of October on a Tuesday. This one over here is the 6th of July on 2021. So even that is um, inconsistent. So it is a bit more difficult to find your dates in Finder, which is why I often recommend that you use some photo, photo organizing software. There's some free programs that um, will deal with helping you find the dates. Or my favorite is, of course, Lightroom Classic, which helps you find the dates on your photos. And most of the time, Lightroom Classic will actually find the date that was taken, even if you can't see it here. So this is one way to find your dates in Finder. Another way is to look at your photos this way. So when you click on the little information, blue here, little information I, you can see a lot more information. And so here, outside of, this is no longer in Finder, you can see the date time digitized and the date original. So this is actually the correct date because I know when this photo was taken. And so you can see it can get very confusing, but this is the time, the dates that we're looking for. So date time digitized, date time original is what we're looking for in this particular situation, which would also correspond to date taken. And then the other way you can look at it is actually in the photos app. If you open up your photos, you can see that you will have this information over here when you click on the blue eye. And you'll see that this photo was taken on the 21st of February, 2015. I do think that that is the right date. And you can see here that actually, if I click on that, you are able to adjust the date if you needed to change it. So that is really helpful in terms of looking at things inside the photos app. You can see the different dates of your photos. Now, in order to do this on the PC, so here on my PC, you can see I'm in my master photo collection in 2006, and I'm going to click on January. The date is you can go to details, and you'll see a date here. And what you want to do is you just want to right click up here in the categories, and you want to make sure you add date taken. So a lot of times this will be exactly the same as you see here, but sometimes you'll find that the date, the thing that just says date, is going to be a different version of the date. And what you really need to be looking at is date taken. So that's important. If you don't see date taken, right click and add date taken to your columns. And again, we're in the details view. If you want to open up a photo, open up the photo and actually see more details, you can right click on the photo, go to properties, and then go to details, and you will see more information about your photo. So often it's easier to see the dates here, and you can see date taken. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, you may be able to find some other dates in here. So here you say date created, which was this year, and that's not the right date. This date, this was actually taken in January of 2006, which you can see here. And that does correspond to what we're seeing in the date taken up here at the top even though it says date modified. The most important thing I want you to take away uh, from this is that in File Explorer, it is easy to see the date taken. In Finder, it is not. You cannot pull up this field called date taken, even if the photo has the date taken, which it will. So that's one thing to be aware of if you're on a PC or a Mac, the how to find your dates and how to find the dates taken. The other thing to be aware of is that you have all these different date fields and the one we're looking for is date taken. And the third thing to be aware of is that using software to help you sort your photos by date taken is really, really effective, efficient. You can get your whole entire photo collection sorted in just a few weeks by using different software like like Classic. Going through and finding the correct dates on your photos and then dragging them into different folders can take a really long time. And if you get frustrated with organizing, I can totally understand why. So keep that all in the back of your mind. Also in these software programs, if you need to change the date of a lot of different photos, you can do multiple photos at once. So another reason to use software. That is uh, what we were going to go over today. Keep in mind if you were looking for date taken, 
Don't get confused by the other dates on your photos and use date taken to sort your collection if you like to organize it um, by years in the chronological order. Or look into using some software and I definitely teach software so if you're interested in that, um, just uh, click on some of the links below in the description. I would appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up, a like if you enjoyed it. It'll help me get my video out to more people and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.